Good evening, Judy Allen here, San Antonio, Texas, with Adventurous Stamping to spotlight the 2023, what, mini holiday catalog, right? It starts September the 6th through the end of December. Give you the dates on the cover here. But we're going to spotlight some of the items in here. We're going to spotlight some sweets. And in between, we're going to do some stamp sets and some embellishments and bling. Might even give you something else at the end, all right? So let's go down the hands and let me show you what you got coming. Now, if you do not want to wait until when the, the catalog is available for the public on September the 6th and you want to get your stuff now you can all you have to do is get the starter kit so if you want to get the starter kit contact me and we can discuss what's all involved in the starter kit all right so with that let's go down the hands and let's get going right I've had a busy day I'm sure you have too but this is the new catalog coming out it says September through December but it actually goes live to the public on September the 6th. So if you don't have one, you will get one automatically. If you're a customer of mine that you either went to a retreat or whatever, if you're a demonstrator, I'm not sending them out to demonstrators, but if you've done one of my classes or anything else, you'll be receiving one of this during the last 12 months. All right? So the first thing I'm going to show you is one of my favorites. And one of my favorites here is this right here. It's the rocking horse. And this is a favorite because I have about 10 of these little horses that I put on my Christmas tree every year and I've been doing that for at least around 38 years. Compliments of Zoe's daddy, who at this nice age of 18 months thought he was supposed to sit on our Christmas ornaments and started off the tradition of having those, not only those horses on the tree, but a wooden one. So I'm gonna also show you this here. So here are the dies that go with it. So it's a nice little set. It is not a suite, but it is a bundle. Okay, it is a bundle. Now, I showed that to you because that was my favorite. And while I'm showing that to you, these are some, look at these. These can be nice as a shaker. You can glue them down if you want to. These are the Loose Holly Gems and Sequins. Got a lot of sparkle, a lot of Christmas going on there. Now we ain't got these because these are real pretty too. I like to do my one room in my house in this kind of blue. I call it like a, I don't know if it's an aqua blue or what. But it's real shiny, reflective like that. And I actually do this in one of the rooms. And this is adhesive-backed glitter sequins. Very, very pretty. So I started off with my, some of my favorite stuff. And now I'm going to show you some a suite here. This is the Bag of Bones suite. So you get the stamp set. You get the die set. You get some very nice glow-in-the-dark paper that we showed the other night. As well as this paper here. So we showed that the other night. I'm not going to show that again tonight. And but these, these come with it too. And these glow in the dark as well. Zoe, you got a phone? Uh, yeah, let's get Zoe. Zoe's going to show you how these things glow. The way she showed me was just to sit up there and put that flashlight from your phone and put it on there. You sure? Okay, she's going to put them on there so you take it off and see how that really glows. Look at those glows. See how that glowed? I love it. I love it. I could do that with the grandkids now too. There you go. That glow in the dark. So not only do we have glow in the dark paper, but we had glow in the dark here. So not only do you have this nice stamp set that comes with it, but look at all the pieces here that you can die cut. Oh yeah. All these little pieces, all the little skeletons and stuff that you want to make right there. So that is the first suite that I'm going to show you. I'm going to move this aside. And then I'm going to show you, look at Zoe, Zoe's helping me out. I'm going to show you this stamp set here. I got this here because this goes with the shops stamp set. And what I really like here is now I can create my little wreaths that I wanted to be able to put on the lamppost and all that comes with the other stuff. I like it because it all blends with the little shops paper and stamp set and die set. But this is really, really cute. And it's got the arches and everything, so I really, really like that. Another item I'm going to show you is this here. This is an embossing folder. And let me show you how cool this is. Because this, you can sit there and ink up the embossing folder, right? You can ink up the embossing folder. And you can run paper through it and get these words. So you're going to run it through the unembossed un side. And when you run it through, look at here. You're going to see in the catalog and get the catalog that they actually did this with red. And the letters and all came out white. And look at all the designs on there that's going to come out in that embossing. Look at there. 
So I'm really, really looking forward to playing with that or the round with this really, really soon. Really soon. And some other things that's really neat that's in the catalog. I'm going to show you a ribbon here in a minute too because I really got it. I don't know which one is Zoe's favorite ribbon, but I do like the blue ribbon. I'm going to show you the blue ribbon in just a second. But let me show you this here. This is deckled circles. So if you think you liked deckled rectangles, you are going to like deckled circles. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is actually larger than a regular piece of paper, right? So you'll be able to use this with scrapbooking. You can do this with 3D projects. So it's not limited to just making cards, right? Look at those. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna pull a, just to show you how large the large circle is from end to end. So from here, it's like five and three quarters inches. And then the smallest is just a little, well, if you look at the cutting edge, the cutting edge is one inch. So you're going from one inch to five and three quarter inches. This is something you can really, really use. So I'm looking forward to this. Cause I use, I do like my deckled ones. Do, I do, I do. All right, let me show you another sweet. This is what's called the autumn sweet. And I'm gonna set the ribbon aside a second and I'll show you to it. So this paper I showed you the other night, as well as this paper here. But this is what else you get with the sweet. You're gonna get a, the autumn leaves. You're going to get this right here. This is the adhesive back speckled dots. I don't know if you can see the speckles in there, but looky there. There's the speckled dots. And you also get a distressed tile 3D embossing folder. How cool is that? Look at that. Look at all the detail you're going to get. You get a lot of details when you get the 3D embossing. And let's look at the autumn leaves. So the leaves, here it is on the stamp set. Let's look and see what these dies are going to look like. What do you think? What I've seen in the catalog is very, very beautiful. You know, I always look for something for Thanksgiving, especially, right? Because I send out a lot of Thanksgiving cards. Not as many as Christmas, but definitely a lot still. But let's look at these. So you can see the detail. Look at the detail that's going to come out. So you see the detail on the leaves right here. And this is something that you can die cut with. Look at the edges you're going to get with this. And this here, this is, a, this is not part of the leaf. It's separate from the leaf. But look at the leaves right here and all the details. Just a beautiful, beautiful set. So you'll just have to wait till I do some examples to show you about that. And I want to show you this ribbon that comes with it as well. This ribbon's got a very nice coppery ribbon. Look how nice and, look at that one. You see that? And then we got a nice ribbon right here as well too. All right. Okay, pass that along. So in between, I'm gonna show you another stamp set. This is the classic, Christmas classics. And looky there, just some of our classic stuff, that traditional stuff. And then let's see what the dies look like. So you guys are right here with me. I'm opening the dies. Let's see how they look, because they all look very nice. Can't wait till you get the catalog. Looky there. There's just some very nice detail there. That's one. And look at the set you have here. Very, very nice. It's gonna go very nice with the greetings, right? Okay, let me show you this ribbon. And I'm gonna show you some bling too. Look at this here. I'm gonna show you this bling here. It's got a darker blue up here. And this is the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Look at there. Look at those colors. I really like those colors. And look at this ribbon here. This is balmy blue. And this balmy blue, not quite the aqua of that other paper that was showing you here. This right here. But look how pretty. It's a... Look at the sparkle on that ribbon. See how nice that is? Just a very nice sparkle to it. So this is balmy, balmy blue. I know they get more of a description on it than that because it's a balmy blue, let's see here, okay, sparkle ribbon, balmy blue sparkle ribbon. And you know what's nice about this? It's got that nice velvet type feel to it, right? Just nice and sparkly, what you expect during the holidays, Christmas holidays. 
All right, so let me show you another suite. This is a large suite. This particular suite comes with this, the Holy Night paper. And it comes with two stamp sets. It also comes with this nice golden paper we showed the other night. And then it also comes with a, a stamp set and an embossing, hybrid embossing folder. We'll look at it in just a minute. And then it comes with another stamp set and die set. But look at this ribbon here. Look at this sheer, this is Knight of Navy ribbon. Look how pretty, that is gonna look so beautiful on that paper, that's got, especially this here that's got the Knight of Navy in gold. Just very, very beautiful. And look at these stars, oh yeah. So it, these stars not only look good with this set, but they look as good with some other things as well too, right? Okay, and then here is Knight Divine, and look at all the things that you have right here, they're very nice. Okay, and let's look at the dice set that goes with it, right? So I always like to look at the dice set that goes with it. So people always want to know, what does it look like? Oh my gosh, there's so many things you can do with it, right? But look at this one here. Here's where you get the nativity scene with the different animals. It look very nice on this paper and some other paper as well too. Just a beautiful set. So we're not stamping it, we're just die cutting. The, the words themselves are right here that go with these dies. Very, very nice, beautiful set. Makes that a little bit easier there. So put this aside and let me show you the next one that goes with this here. So we've got the stars at night and look at this here, this embossing folder. It's 3D embossing folder. Now, let's see here. See what it looks like. All right, so we have first here the M hybrid embossing folder, which those are always pretty neat and interesting. Let's see what it looks like. It always gives us such a very nice image that we can work with. looky there so it shows you the flat side of it and look at all the detail it's going to press out there for you with the stars see that's that's really nice really really nice it's a lot of hybrid okay you know why it calls hybrid because there's most probably something here that goes with it let's see what goes with it here so if you've had one, I've had a hybrid embossing photo before that we had some dies go with it. It was a heart one back in last year. And it was very pretty. It made some very nice anniversary cards. My last year, the year before, it made some very nice anniversary cards. Let's see what this looks like here. See there? So you can see how this is going to work with these right here. Let me do this for you. Which is always nice. See this star here? And you can see the star here. Looky there. So you see where some of these stars actually have dies. I'll be able to cut, cut on the embossing or you can layer on the embossing, right? So you've got a very, very nice 3D effect where you've already got something embossing. You're able to even layer on top of it even more from what you die cut with the dies here, right? So that makes it super sweet, a super sweet, sweet. So let me get this back in here. And I think that is all of the sweets I have to show for you tonight. So let me show you what else I have. Let me get this sweet aside. This is a very, this is a very large sweet, right? Because you got two packs of paper, you got a stamp and die set, and an embossing and more. Okay, so let me just show you a couple more ribbons and all that's coming out. This one here, we have a black and white out right now, but this is coming out, and it's vanilla and black. And this goes very good with the fall stuff as well as with the skeletons, right? This one is iridescent ribbon. Let's see what this one looks like. This one looks similar to what some things you might have seen in the past. But look how nice this is. This is a new one. And this one is very, look at that. It's very soft, very flexible. Look at that, look at that iridescence there. 
Very, very nice. All right, and then we have another one here I want to show you. This one is sheer ribbon. So we've had something similar to this, right? If you've been around for a little while, uh, we've had some solid white with some silver trim, but we've not had the sheer. So let's take a look at the sheer. Sheer ribbon is so nice because you've got so many things, but look how sheer that is. Oh yeah. That might be my favorite this year because last year I had that very silver lightweight ribbon that was wide and I used it for everything, but this one's now sheer in this, so I know I'll use this for quite a few things. And I'm going to have show you also more embellishments. And this is the Blooming Pearls. And then we have another one here that's just some nice fall colors. Looky there. This is the Adhesive Back Speckled Dots. Which it looked like I did one earlier, but this one, I don't recall it. This one looks a little bit different because this one's got greens. So and this just to me has got more of the earth tones in it. Maybe wrong, but looky there. Actually, this looks a little more like Moody Mauve, right? See the colors there, but look how pretty that is, see? I really see using that with some of the fall stuff. Okay, and the last thing I got here is another ribbon. This is the Calypso Coral Ribbon, but it's, it's really thin. Let me show you how thin it is. I might have to, in fact, I can only if I can get my scissors down in there or not. I might just... Let me go this way. Okay, I'll go this way. So that's really done in there. I don't have to jump, jab, jab, uh, jab my scissors down there, but let me get in the plastic here so you can see this, because this is actually a thin, but it's very pretty, right? It'll go very nice with the fall and anything else you want to go with. I can get it undone here and tape, just tape down. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. I can go in the fabric store or something. So looky there, that's like a 3 8 of an inch, right? Just a very nice, pretty ribbon. Nice to go with fall stuff and anything else you want to. But I can really see using this with the fall stuff, right? Whether it's wrapping gifts, making tags, whatever you want to do. But just a very, very nice ribbon. So that is all I have right now to show you from the actual holiday mini catalog. But there's one thing other, a couple other things I wanna show you, and they're not in the catalog, not in an annual catalog, nor are they in the mini catalog, but they are online exclusives. And I haven't demoed with at least one of these yet, but I wanna show you, because these are all out there as long as supplies last, right? I just got this in, so I'm looking forward to playing around with this. It's got a nice look and Look at the stamp. So, there you go. So, I'm looking forward to showing you how that works. And then, if you haven't seen this beautiful paper, this is beautiful paper. Uh, we did some with Retreat, and I'll have to show you some later on of some of the different stuff I've made with it. But just this whole pack of paper is beautiful. So, just these both are online exclusives, just like our kits and kits are on sale right now. The online exclusives. And they're there. And if they sell out, then they sell out. It's not something they're going to keep, right? So I just want to show that to you because it's just pretty. And if you haven't done it, we've, you know, we just got through doing a retreat. And, you know, we made six Christmas cards during the retreat. So some of them we used, actually that paper there we used, I think three of those piece, pieces of paper, design paper there. It's beautiful paper. So go out there and check it out. Like I said, if you don't want to wait until September the 6th, you can always get the starter kit and you can get these items and order them in your starter kit. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll get back to you. If you'd like your catalog of your own, then just message me your mailing address and I'll get one to you. If, you are, if, you are, if you've been a customer for the past year, been to a retreat or treats or one of the classes, or maybe just order directly from me. doesn't matter. Bottom line is you're getting a catalog and it's in the mail. So if you're not, if, as long as you're not a demonstrator, I'm not going to send a catalog to a demonstrator, right? But I will for anyone that's not a demonstrator. So if you want me to do that, be sure to message me and I'll get one in the mail to you. All right. With that, I hope you enjoy seeing the spotlight of some of these items. If you got any questions, just ask. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.